Well, it's happened again. Street signs stolen in one Bergen County community, and officials say it's dangerous. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports from Ridgewood on a plan to get those signs back. These street signs have been turned into police after they were ripped down off of this pole. They're just two of nearly 40 stolen recently in Ridgewood. Mostly the street signs, which we're seeing, but there have been occasions where somebody's taken a stop sign. I have noticed them when I turn corners and stuff and if I'm looking for a house. Police say the timing seems to coincide with kids leaving for college. It's been happening now for the past couple of years. Having been in college in the last 10 years or so, a lot of students take them to their college dorm rooms and put them up and as a trophy, sort of speak. Uh, so I'm not surprised. It is dangerous. Dangerous indeed. In addition to safety concerns, there are cost concerns. One of these signs costs $65 a piece just to produce. That doesn't include the staffing hours to put the sign up, write a poll, and fix it. We as taxpayers ended up having to pay for new signs. So it costs everybody. So, to get the signs back, police are offering amnesty to anyone who returns the signs before September 15th. After that, you could face prosecution. In the case of somebody steals a stop sign, there's an accident after that sign has been removed and we can attribute that to a person taking there was serious injury and or death. That person could be liable criminally for the death of that person. The chief says if you really want a dorm room decoration, the signs are too heavy and bulky anyway. Go get a much lighter printed one made up. In Ridgewood, New Jersey, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And parents could also be liable if their kids have the signs in their home. The village is now putting distinctive marking on their signs. It's also uh, increased police patrols. If